Good morning and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you all doing? So I'm going to jump right into the video, okay? Let's talk about this new stimulus package they're talking about bringing out. Now, I know the first time when the coronavirus came out, you know, they sent everybody, you know, almost all the Americans received $1,200 per person if you were single, $2,400 for a family, and then $500 per children, and you got $600 unemployment a week, right? So now they're talking about sending out $600 to each American that qualifies. If you make a certain amount this time, you won't even get it, okay? So let me ask, how many of you all can pay rent with $600? Because they're talking about helping the American people, not leaving the American people struggling. I don't know about you, but rent cannot be paid with $600. I don't know who pays rent of $600. If you do, that's a blessing. That's a blessing that could pay, but most people in America, most people cannot pay $600 rent. If you're buying a house, your mortgage is more than $600. If you're renting a nice apartment, your rent is more than $600. So after you get the $600 and you're drawing unemployment, okay, if you're getting $300 a week from unemployment because they're supposed to be giving you $300 a week unemployment. That's only $1,200. If you're not working and you're laid off during unemployment, you can't boot you. What you going to pay? If your rent is $1,200, the average person rent is $900 to $1,200 or more. Now you do have some people out here that's paying $600 or less. You know, they're probably getting help from the government and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you are a working person, most people's rent is going to average from $900 to $1,200 or more. People that I know, okay? So if you're going to be unemployed and you're only getting $300 a week, plus whatever you were getting before, because they're going to add that on top of what you normally get. So I know a guy who gets $128 a week unemployment right now. He went from full-time hours to unemployment, after they cut the $600 off, he gets $128 a week. So he was getting $728 because of the $600. Now it's $128. So they're going to give him $300 plus the $128. That's $428, right? So that's $4812, $16. $4, $16. Just say $1,700 and some change, okay? By the time you pay your rent and your light bill, if you have a car payment, car insurance, a cell phone bill, health insurance, what's going to happen to the American people that they say that they're supposed to be helping and making sure that we okay? Other countries are still giving their people money every month. They haven't stopped. They haven't stopped. But when it comes to America, it's always, people want to come to America from other countries because they feel like America is the great country to come and be free and to have a great life. But when you look at the way that they treat American people, they treat us just as bad as they treat the foreigners. And a lot of times they treat foreigners better. Because when you think about it, $600 one time to someone, that's not going to do anything unless you're still working during this pandemic. The $600 could be an extra, you know, some extra money for you because you're still working. God bless, you're still working. So that could be extra for you, you know? But if you're not working and so you get the $600 and you get the pandemic unemployment, that pandemic unemployment is not still gonna be enough for you to be survived because you're still gonna have to pick and choose what you pay especially if your rent is over $600, especially. Then you have a light bill. It's winter time. A lot of the light bill companies are working with you. You don't have to pay your bill right away. But where I'm at, they went back to normal. If you don't pay your bill when you're supposed to, you get cut off. But during the first part of the pandemic, they will let you go. But at the end of the pandemic, you owe all that money at the when it started going back kind of normal, you had to pay them thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars that you owed them. So either way, it's a lose because either you can pay it or you can't. 
So if you don't pay your light bill and your cell phone bill and your car payment, if they let you defer all of that, well, when it goes back to being semi-normal, they expect that money. Either way, you have to pay it. If you let your car be deferred, it's tacked onto the end of your bill, so you're stretching your car loan out longer. If you don't pay the light bill at the time and your cell phone bill, when it goes back to semi-normal, they expect the money. So $600 is really a slap in the face. Now, this is what I'm getting from other people because remember, my household never never, never received the uh, any of the unemployment and any of the stimulus check. We were looked over. My household was looked over for some reason. We got lost in the shuffle. Deceased people got checks. Children that were 16 years old got checks and unemployment for working at McDonald's. People in prison homeless people that had an address somewhere, but people that work in America, that they didn't, they got looked over, not just me. So what I'm saying is, from people that I'm talking to, excuse me, y'all, it's getting a little warm, okay? Y'all might hear my fan. I got a little fan. People that's really, really struggling, like right now, people in America are getting evicted. Some people are still not working as of, like today, thank God I'm able to still, I'm going to work. They called me back. I was laid off too. During that time, I had no help from the government. Okay. We, this how we didn't have, it was no help here. God, he helped. He took, took, did it, took it through, you know? But what I'm saying is the government with billions of dollars, billions of dollars. Okay. Um, they're going to give all this money to small businesses to keep them open. But the American people who go to the small businesses to shop, they can't shop at the small businesses because they won't have enough money to live on, especially if they're unemployed. So I'm just thinking to myself, how do they come up with this number to give people half the money? from The pandemic is worse than it was when it first started. It was worse. They gave $1,200 to an individual 24 to a, a husband and wife, and then 500 for each child. So if you have five kids, you got $500 per child. Then if you had a teenager who worked at a fast food place, they got the unemployment, and they got the, you know, a stimulus check or something. So, and it was just starting. It was bad, but it's bad now. It's worse. So how would you come down to half of it? Shouldn't you go up? It should have been $1,200 plus another $600. It shouldn't have took $600 away. It should have added $600 on to it. You should get $1,800. And instead of getting the $300 from $600 to $300, you should get $1,200 unemployment. It's worse. People are on the street now. They are actually sitting on the street with their children. I'm reading all kinds of articles that they are on the street with their children because the pandemic has gotten worse. And they're going to cut it down. The, they are going to cut it down. Now, you have to remember who's, who, who's, who's still in presidency. Who's still in presidency. And who's all these, who's the, the cabinet that's running this stimulus check right now. Because it hasn't been taken over by the Democrats yet. Now, I'm not saying Biden going to come in here and give more. He might cut it down to 150. I don't know. But what I'm saying is the American people... Need help. That's not nothing. $600 is no money. I can spend $600 now. Just give me $600 right now. By the time I put gas in my car, when you break that first hundred, your money is gone. You break that first hundred dollars, and then you go start breaking your 20s, you're broke. That's how much a PS5 costs. 500 bucks for a video game. You're going to give grown people $600 to pay rent? So what you're supposed to do if you are if, if if you're unemployed, the unemployed benefits hasn't started yet. You get six hundred dollars. You use that. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. I was just thinking about that. You know how do they come up with those figures? To me, the money should have went up because they have the money, and they're getting paid millions of dollars to make this decision to give people six hundred dollars. And America is supposed to be a rich country. 
I understand they say we broke and stuff, and, and they, but we're supposed to be a rich country. We're supposed to be, but you're going to take it from 1,200 to 600, from 600 to 300 for grown people that have a household to run, and that's including teenagers who still live at home with their mothers and their fathers. They're going to get the $600 too, and they just working at McDonald's or Burger King. Why are you giving these children this money? It should be going to the parents that's running the household. It shouldn't go to anybody who's not running the household. It should go to people who's running the household. If you're in prison, you shouldn't be getting those $600. If you, I mean, come on. It should go to the people who are running households, not people who's working at McDonald's and still living at their parents' house and their parents are still taking care of them. The government is just making all kind of stupid decisions. You got grown people out here in their 50s bringing home $128 a week unemployment. $128 and they tax that. So at the end of the day, when the $128 is taxed, they probably bring home $75. And when they give you the unemployment, they tax this money. Or you're going to have to still pay for it at the end of the year. Nothing's free. Do not let the government think they're helping you and it's free. You have to pay. You have to pay this stuff back. So they're not helping. They're helping. It comes in handy. But at the end of the day, you have to pay the money back. And if you're not working and all this stuff goes back to semi-normal, these bill collectors want their money. They don't care. You know, so anyway, I just want to throw that out there to you all. I am going to say, Phil Donke, that's thank you very much in German. So, Phil Donke, for watching me and choose, that's what, that's by in German. Y'all have a terrific Tuesday. Be safe, stay warm, and I'll talk to you on hump day.